today we are going to learn about introduction to cloud computing some of the topics which are important in cloud computing so what is cloud cloud is nothing but a network or internet so the main concept is you require internet if you have internet then what you can do we can store the data we can manage that data we can access the data you are used to google in google we know we have a google drive on google drive we can save the file that file which we are saving with the help of our mobile phone we can access later on using our uh, pc or if you want to access it from any other device simply you need to uh, go to your gmail login sign in and that's it you will be able to access that data so in short the cloud is giving us access anywhere anytime the main thing is you require internet if you have internet you can access your data from anywhere now what are the things which you can share so these are the things like files images documents audio video so in short we are trying to share mine what are the operations which we can do with the help of this cloud computing cloud computing will help you to develop the new applications new services nowadays you are used to the words called as pass and saas these are the services which are offered by cloud computing now the next is as we have seen we are able to store the data we can take the backup of the data uh, you can uh, you might know that how we can take a backup of a data you can save it into a pen drive you can make use of an external hard disk or you can create its copy anywhere using any external device but if i want to access it from anywhere uh, there should be one point over which i can save that data and later on i will be able to retrieve that data how is it possible this is possible because of cloud now we are going to save the data on internet using sign in we are providing the security to it and we can later on access it if we have the all settings done and you are able to sign in using it we are able to recover the data as you know that might be some file you have created in your pc and you not intentionally but by mistake you have deleted it but if you have the backup of it you will be able to recover your data from the other sources nowadays you know that many websites are available blogs are available uh, vlogs are also there all these concepts in the background is sharing this concept of cloud now you know that two important fields are there which are called as business analytics or you can say the data analytics the analysis can also be done on the cloud no need to install huge software on a pc if you have the permissions uh, from the license uh, software copies you will be able to directly analyze the data on the internet itself if you have the internet streaming of videos and audios students are aware about how you can do the live streaming on youtube on instagram on facebook all these concept in the background trying to make use of cloud computing so these are shortly the operations which we can perform with the help of cloud which include developing something new taking a storage or backup or recovery hosting any blog or website doing analysis of data and streaming videos and audio why we need cloud computing what is the need of cloud computing any it company if you go in any it company it has its own server room and what is there inside that server room there is one database server routers mail server modem network switches and firewall so you are able to see lots of hardware things which are physically available and it occupies the infrastructure of the it company and as all these hardwares are highly equipped you need an ac room for it so maintenance is the main thing that is nothing but all the it companies are saving the data and they are able to spend lots of money on this uh, infrastructure and we can save all this infrastructure cost with the help of cloud 
what are the characteristics of cloud computing cloud computing has many characteristics first one is agility as you know agile means fast which works very fast if you have the internet if you have share your file on a gmail and you are able to access it then easily you are able to retrieve it so you will get it very fast next is it is highly available and reliable when we say available why it is available because if you have the internet 24 by 7 you will be able to access it if you want to take any offline uh, example of any offline uh, server or any uh, software or any other app sometimes it might happen that some of the apps are available to use in between 9 to 5 or 10 to 6 and after those 10 to 6 period you are not able to access all those apps because might be it says that server is under maintenance and all but if you have a good cloud computing infrastructure you will be able to make all these services runnable 24 by 7 that's why it is called as high availability reliability you know you are saving something which is important you know you have saved it correctly and the cloud gives you guarantee that whatever you have saved it will give you at that point in the same format that's why we can say that it's reliable it's not going to modify it on its own it's not going to tamper it you will be able to get it as it is now the next is highly scalable now when we say high scalability it's nothing but it's called as on demand when we say on demand what on demand means if suppose i am running one it company and in that it company right now i am having one server and i am satisfying the services of suppose 3 4 clients uh, because of the demands of my software if suppose my clients size increase from 4 to directly 15 or 16 then i will need more servers to provide the backups to provide all this facility and all these things are happening on internet you are not going to install anything you are not going to go manually anywhere it's location independent that's why you will be able to scale it on large level very easily and it is called as on demand so as per the need of the client the server or the one which is going to provide you the service is going to change it and that's why it is called as highly scalable next is multi sharing when we say sharing in general also sharing means you are going to share it with someone now with someone means what with your clients or with your uh, nodes or with uh, the computers now uh, here multiple users can share the data multiple applications they can share and it will happen at the low cost next is device and location independence you have seen that suppose if we consider google microsoft or any uh, it companies like infosys they are having their locations uh, abroad or in country also they are location independent they are working independently but their software team hardware team one team might be in bangalore one team might be in pune and then also they are able to work finely why these things are happening because they are trying to do everything on the cloud they have their own private cloud on which the software team will update the changes hardware team will be able to see all those updated changes and it will happen smoothly now the next is maintenance as everything is happening on the internet so it is very easy to maintain all these things low cost as you are not going to purchase any hardware hmm, physically and uh, so no physical hardware is required that's why it is low cost and next is services in pay per user mode now when you say pay per use mode pay per use mode is nothing but you have seen lots of application nowadays are available at pro or some license are available at free of cost so for a first one month it's freely available to you you will be able to access it but if suppose after one month you want to access it then you need to pay for it that is called as pay per user mode and it's the case with the cloud computing now we will see some of the advantages of cloud computing once again that is low cost maintenance mobility improved collaboration backup and restore the data 
unlimited storage space, data security, paper use and excellent accessibility. We will try to match it with some of the keywords. As you are able to see, low cost maintenance means it's going to reduce the cost. Mobility, you are able to access it via mobile. Now, don't directly relate it with mobility and mobile. You can make use of any other device. It just simply says that you are able to access it from anywhere if you have any other device. Improved collaboration, as the keyword contain collaboration, so group of something has to be there. So here we will say group of people, group of software team, hardware team, managers, all are working and they are sharing the same data. Backup and restore data, you are easily able to do it. Unlimited storage space, so related with the keyword huge storage space. All these keywords will help you to create your own short note and whenever you will find all these keywords like reduce cost, mobile, allow group, share, easy access, get backup, restore, huge demand and also uh, security is the main and important feature. Unless and until now you are able to see in Gmail also two factor authentication is required. So it provides security. Offers API, you know, API is application programming interface. As you're going to pay for it, as per your package, you will get the service. And you are able to access it easily. That's why it is says easy access anywhere. And the technical word for it is excellent accessibility. So all these advantages you're going to remember. Once we have seen that, what are the advantages? The next part is disadvantage. The disadvantage is internet connectivity is must, vendor locking, limited control and hackers threat. These are the references if you want to refer. Thank you.